What's up you guys? Welcome back to Simple Sick Builds. Today I'm doing a mod on the Miata. To me, it's like a must-have mod. And it's a, I think it's a cheap mod that changes the whole appearance of your car. It doesn't cost that much. I think it's under 40 bucks. Including if you want to buy some extra material. But let's just jump into it and let me show you exactly what I got for the Miata. Alright you guys. So here's what I'm going to be throwing on the Miata. I bought some 7 inch LED bars. I'm going to be doing the lazy eye mod. Or I think that's what it's called. And this is everything it comes with. It comes with a little sliding bracket so I can tilt. Two screws right here so you can screw this to that. I am missing one bolt as you can see this one has that bolt right here. But I used that bolt to go get some extra stuff because all this right here cost about like 20 bucks. Roughly 20 bucks. And I picked up extra material. I picked up longer bolts. This is the bolt that is supplied with the, the lights. Longer bolts. Two extra nuts. Some metal spacers. You guys could tell right there two of them and four washers so let me pull the miata in and uh let's see if it's hard to install oh and i also picked up this some 16 14 gauge butt connectors so yeah let's get to it okay you guys once you have your headlights popped up and your hood up, what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this right here on both sides. This one has one and this one has one on the opposite side. We're going to disconnect that. That way they won't come up. So they're going to no longer be able to pop up after this. So let me disconnect this one. Okay guys, I disconnected them. Since I'm no longer going to be using them for now, I'm going to put some uh, electrical tape around them. So just in case no water gets in and I'm going to zip tie them away like so. This one might go zip tied here and this one, the one that's down here might go zip tied somewhere up here. Just so they can be facing upwards and not downwards just in case they get wet. So basically all that we're going to do is we're going to take off a Phillips screw here and here where there should have been one but it's missing. Not surprised. And uh, here and here. Oh there you go. Another one's missing. Stuff you don't catch when you're buying a used car. You're going to take those off and then I'll show you what's after that. Once we removed a total of four screws, if your Miata has not been used and abused like this one, all this should pop out fairly easy. Just like that. And now you're going to have one Phillips screw there, one down there in the very, set, in the very center, and then you're going to have... Uh, a, like a like a spring over here on this side it's a little tension spring you see that right there if i were you guys i would loosen these up a little bit the other bolts right here and then loosen that spring so it won't give you tension so uh yeah let me proceed to do that so i finally removed uh the two bolts well two phillips screws and uh, there's a spring right here i'm gonna remove that because there's no longer going to be needed so all of this i'm going to keep not these, I'm going to try to put this cover back on maybe. But I'm going to put these in a bag just in case I want to go to these lights back again. Because they're pretty clean, they're clear, they're nice. Let me do this connector real quick. So they do have pins on the side right here. These little things you squish on both sides. Pinch them. And it comes off I'm over here trying to shake it off that and that wasn't gonna work all right guys so now let me grab uh, one of the um pods or bars led bars and uh, show you how i'm gonna install it all right you guys so now that i'm here with my led bars what i'm gonna do is grab one of the new bolts that i purchased because remember i told you guys it came with this one so this one's much longer so i'm gonna grab this one and i'm gonna insert it here that's where the new one's going to go. And then uh, I'm going to come over here where the... I don't know if you guys see those two nuts rolling in there. I'm going to put this downwards like that. And I'm going to grab the two uh, screws that were supplied with uh, the kit. So you're going to just insert it and try to catch the nut that's in there. Don't forget that crush washer it comes with. It comes with a total of two. Just one side. And don't do what I'm doing and tighten it all the way. Give it, keep it loose. 
All right, guys, I'm not gonna tighten them too much, just by hand. That way it has a little adjustable. They can be adjustable, because I don't want to adjust it till I get inside the car and uh, do what I'm gonna do. So that's one right there. And I'm gonna grab uh, one of these things right here. Take it out. And this is gonna be the spacer for it right here. I've seen people like stack tons of washers, but I don't recommend that. What you could do is do this, buy this big washer, just like it can be more sturdy, put that and that, and that's it. And then the actual nut that's gonna go on bottom. Let me just show you how it's gonna look. So if the camera shaky guys, it's gonna be like that. That way you don't add a bunch of washers. So let's just go to the car and uh, see if I have to drill anything. All right guys, so I'm realizing I'm gonna have to drill a hole. There is a hole right here, but I don't wanna use it. It's too close. Uh, say I just set the light in like so, and it's right there. I can't really move it side to side or anything. And I really would like it to be right dead center right there. So I'm going to drill that hole out a little bigger. And then uh, we're going to cut some wires back here and connect it. And uh, we'll screw it on. All right, you guys. So I'm measuring right here. And I just realized I ran into a slight problem after drilling that hole. Let me open this up. So I drilled the hole and uh, I dropped the light in to see about where I want to adjust it, right? That's how it sits right there. It doesn't, it's like kind of leveled. It's like it's sunk in a little bit. I didn't want this part right here, the actual glass to be sunk in. But I just realized that my spacers are too big. My spacers are too big. They need to be cut in half and I don't have anything to cut them with. So I think I'm just gonna ditch the spacers, but I'm gonna utilize that big bolt uh, because I like it better, it's bigger. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that, guys. I, I didn't really want it to sink in, but it doesn't look bad, right? Yeah, guys, I'm gonna do that. So, so let me uh, do the deed by cutting off this plug right here. I'm gonna splice it back a little and then cut the wires I need to cut. All right, you guys, so I'm going to be splicing into this right here, this little cover a little bit, exposing more of these wires because we're going to be using the black wire and the black with red or the red with black. The white with red is the high beam and we won't be needing that. So I'm going to cap that off. But let me get to slicing this because I don't have two hands to do it with. And then uh, we'll start connecting them. All right, you guys, I finally cut the wires on this side. I did leave the black one. And the red one a little extended in case I ever want to utilize these again. Like I said, so I'm going to keep them together with this. I'm going to put these in a Ziploc bag. That way I have them. But I'm going to splice these out and uh, connect uh, the thing right here. Connect this and we'll be good to go. And I'm going to bolt it and we'll see how it looks. Alright you guys, I finally cut the wires. And I already connected them. Red with black and black with black on the actual harness goes like this super simple and i did uh get this wire and uh, i capped it off to make sure everything is good i did test it already and it does work and uh i centered uh, the bracket right here with uh, the two silver little fake screws i don't know if they're real but it's dead center and it is facing slightly down so if i hold it like so it's slightly bend it forward like this like downwards it's facing down that was not like straight up so it has a little bend so let me kind of put it on there so i can show you guys what i'm talking about it's facing downwards not straight because i don't want to get pulled over so uh let me bolt it up and uh put this down and see how it looks all right you guys now i officially got it installed and I'm gonna put this down real quick. Sorry that the line's a little bad. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. 
All right, now I'm gonna see if I wanna trim this. I have anything to trim it with so I can install this. I think it's gonna be just, uh, just the upper corners right here. I don't know if I should or just leave it like that, but I don't like how you can see the sides. So uh, let me figure something out. All right, you guys. So this is the finished product. So I ended up just cutting it. I used the, this Dremel right here that I found laying around. I didn't even know I had a Dremel. And uh, I cut right through it and it looks perfect. So I'm gonna take that light off and I'm not gonna show you me taking it off and putting it and installing everything, but I'm gonna show you how I cut this, uh, this plastic part. Dude, dude, hey buddy. So yeah guys, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, it's vice versa, same thing you do on this side, you do on that side, just I'm gonna show you how I trim that. It's super basic. Looks good. Nice. All right, you guys, so I cut the slit at the bottom for the access, so I can go over the light. Now I'm gonna cut from where this right here is to around here, it's about six inches. I'm gonna cut a little bit more than six inches. I already measured it. It's in my head, so don't ask if there's, so I'm gonna dremel that out. And I'll show you right now exactly how it turns out. All right, you guys, I got it on here. I'm going to screw it together, but I'm going to have to hit it with the Dremel right here because it still needs a little bit more to clear. So let me just finish that off and we'll be good to go. All right guys, and just like that, it's finished. What do you guys think? The side covers came out perfect. I'm gonna get uh, some clips at night so you guys can see how they look. And uh, some shots of the whole car later. So uh, bear with me, but they look good so. The sun's going down, so hopefully it'll go down fast enough so I can shoot a clip. All right, guys. With that being said, I'm gonna leave you guys with some cinematics because unfortunately I cannot go get nice shots because your boy has to go to work tonight and I work late night. So for now, I'm just gonna leave you with some cinematics and make sure to comment down below. Let me know if it's a must have mod for a Miata. As for these spaces I bought, I'm still gonna cut them later and make them just smaller because I do want the black, the edge of the lip of the LED pod light, light bar or whatever to stick up before. Let me show you what I mean. So if you guys see this little black part in the bottom, I want it to be flush with this. So uh, I'm going to do that uh, next time. I'm not going to record it, but I am going to have this up to here so I can be more, I don't know, more centered and maybe try to push this more forward because there is a gap right here, but that's for another day. But I'm not going to record it. But with that being said, guys, make sure to comment down below and let me know if this is a must have mod for Miata. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe, subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you guys know every time I upload. With that being said guys, peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one.